here. Hi, I'm Sonia, and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my update for my Throwback 30. So this is a Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group project, and it was created by Jessica. This project is a combination of 30 different Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group projects that people in the group voted on. So I was really, really excited to take part in this this year. I saw Ruth and Jessica do it last year and I think it was also Jalon, a few other people I watched and I just really really want to be a part of it this year so here I am and this is my first update and I can roll one thing out. I feel like with this project this could be one that will take me a while however I do have till July next year because this project starts started 28th of July and goes all the way to the 27th of July next year. My look today is inspired by Misty. I love her watermelon type eyeshadow looks and she inspired me today to have a go at it. I don't think it's as good as hers but I'm happy with how it came out. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll make sure to leave anything below that I may have missed. I also link everybody below that are the creators for this project. I'd like to see who created each of them. It will all be detailed below. So some of these pro some of these products I haven't started, so I'm not going to go through those. If you'd like to see all of the products that I put into this project, I'll make sure to leave it in the cards. I never know which way it is. You can go over there and watch it. So the first project, and this is the one product I can roll out because it's finished, is Fifty Shades of Green. And that is a project where you have to choose 50 green products. And if you're wondering why I'm looking this way, I have my computer on and I can see all my numbers. So the product I brought in for this was this Origins Plant Scription Multi Powered Youth Serum. I really, really, really liked this product. It was such a beautiful serum just really like watery my skin soaked up it made it look beautiful i really really thoroughly enjoyed this and i used it 11 times i am quite tempted to ask for an origins like gift set at christmas because i was really 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 impressed by this one so i can roll that one out now the rest of them i am working on like i said there's some that some products i'm not but i'm just going to go through the ones i am so the next one is Fifty Shades of Pink and for that I brought in my Primark Nudes Lip Gloss. I definitely think this is more of a liquid lipstick because it's definitely more of a thicker formula. I wanted to get use on this because my sister bought me this I don't know how many Christmases ago and I definitely definitely need to get use on it. However I only used it twice because I'm focusing on two lipsticks at the minute that I really that I want to finish and get out of my collection so I've only used this a couple of times. I do like this product though I'm just worried that it's going to go bad on me and I don't want that to happen. It still smells okay so I want to finish this so this could be in a while. <laughs> the next project is Beauty A to Z so that is where you bring in a product for every letter of the alphabet and I randomly generated a letter and I and it came up with P. So what I did for this was I brought in a bunch of face masks because it was really difficult to try and find a product with the letter P in it. So I just brought in a bunch of face masks. I have used a couple of them, so I've used the these twice. And the two I have used is the Soap and Glory Pout About It and the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack. So I've used these two and I have five masks left. If I really work on these, I might be able to get this done by next update. So I'm not working on any other masks at the minute. So I do think I may use this one tonight. And this one I should be able to use on a weekend at some point because you only leave this one on for three minutes. It's just one that you put on before your makeup and it's meant to, I think it's meant to act like a, a primer interesting and with these ones I can just use them whenever so I do think if I can work on these and make these my priority I should be able to have these rolled out by next month. The next thing is Bearstone Beauty and that is where you choose a product for a Bearstone so I chose February and that is Amethyst and for that I brought in my Becca Prismatic Amethyst highlight. I love this highlight however I 
have noticed I only need to put my brush in it the littlest bit because otherwise it can come out really 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 purple and I just like especially at the moment I just like a more muted down highlight so this is what it looks like I want to hit pan so I have a way to go considering I've only used this three times but it is still a really really nice highlight I bought this in a full size before Becca went out of business because I think out of all my highlight collection this definitely has to be one of my favourites. It's not for every occasion but it is one of my favourites and I really just want to work this mini out of my collection eventually because like I said I have a full size. So again this one could be in a while. I am focusing on quite a few highlights at the minute. Highlights, blushes and bronze at the moment I seem to have a lot of those in projects so I'm trying to rotate through them. Um, apart from my blushes, I am trying to focus on the NARS one. So I am using this, I'm just not using it as much as like if this was the only one I was using. But I'm working through it, I'm hoping to get pan in it before July. The next thing is Budget Beauty, so that is where you choose something from the High Street Drugstore to use. So I brought in the Elf Paulus Putty Primer and my goal for this as well is to hit pan. I've used it eight times. So this is the only like pore filling primer I'm using at the moment. So this is definitely going to get my entire focus over the next month or so. I think it just depends whether I put another pore, pore filling primer in any other project. But I, I don't know how long I have to go. I have a feeling I've still got a way to go on this. But I do really, really like this. I think it's a really good pore filling primer primer for the price of it and yeah again I've used this one eight times so the next one is got to pan them all and that is a prompt based Pokemon project I could have quite easily chose all of them because I love Pokemon I used to play it as a child and just yeah brings back so many memories but the one I chose was Pikachu and that was a yellow I haven't written down the prompt here which is my bad but I think it was a a uh, yellow product or like packaging that's yellow so I brought in this Money Skin Illuminating Primer and I want to finish this and this is my progress so I started here and now I'm here <laughs> doesn't have as much progress as what I would have liked I don't hate this product but I really just don't like it either but it's not to the point where I feel like I don't want to pan it and finish it it's just it's such a thick primer that it just seems to collect up here and then it's when I dispense the product it's got a really thick hard bit but either way I'm using it I used it seven times at the moment this is the only illuminating primer I'm using as well so I should be able to get a few more uses on that next up next update and hopefully I will have a bit more progress than what I had because I would like to get that one worked out sooner rather than later. The next one is Harry Potter and the Pan of Fire and this was one that I was really unsure about what I was meant to do for this project. After watching other people's intros for Throwback 30, I think you only had to choose one of the options. What I did is I chose two and just tried to make one product fit for it. So I chose Golden Snitch which was golden and Gryffindor which was scarlet and gold I think and you just have to bring in a product for that. So I brought in this Kiko Wonder Woman blush, so scarlet and gold, and I just wanna use this one 20 times, and like I said, I'm working on so many blushes at the minute, I really didn't want to try and set a goal of hitting pan or anything. And I only got this in April when I went to London, because they have a Kiko store in Covent Garden, and every time I go, I always go in, and they have such good deals in there. When I went in there, in April I think it was buy three get free free <laughs> so I really really love that store and Covent Garden but this is when I picked this up and it's a beautiful beautiful blush I've just stuck my nail in it story of my life and um, I've used this twice so I have 18 uses to go but I from the two uses I have used of it it's 
really really pretty the next one is i have the 90s which is a project i'm doing on my channel as well and this is a prompt based project all about the 90s so i chose the prompt i will always love you and that is a product that has been a holy grail for a long time the product i brought in was this this is my rimmel lasting radiance foundation holy grail for a long time I want to get this one finished and worked out because this one is one of my oldest foundations in my collection now but I of course have a backup already ready and waiting to go and this is my progress so I started here and I'm here I just seem it just seems to take me forever I think at the minute to use foundations and I'm not sure why I have used this six times again I have three foundations I'm trying to work on at the moment though so it's not my only foundation I am using but I, I love this I just love the way it makes my skin look I'm not unhappy that I'm working on it but like I said I do want to finish it so looking at that I think it could be next year <laughs> that I will finish that the next one is let's get loose and that is where you use a loose product in your collection now I really struggled with this because I looking through my collection from and I think this had to be makeup related I didn't I don't have any loose products so the one I brought in was the only one I found and it was the W7 got a glow translucent and I really want to point out translucent here luminous setting powder now I said last month that I didn't think that this looked translucent because if you look at the product to me that looks pretty golden I used it once I'm decluttering it this is not translucent this is so gold you could use it as a highlight let me I'll show you can you see there but it's just more yellow based and I just I don't know if you can see that it to me that's just more of a highlight than a powder and I'm not a massive fan of gold highlight because I'm fair skinned so Usually it just looks like a massive strip on my face. So I, I'm i going to declutter it. I'm going to pass it along to someone else that may be able to get use out of it because I just won't. But I really struggled on what I could bring in for this. So I'm hoping this counts. I'm going to be bringing in the Wonder Beauty Play All Day Translucent Powder. Now, hopefully this is actually translucent. This is what it looks like. I've not used it before when I first got this I thought, thought oh okay so it has this and then I was like oh they must have forgot to put the powder bit in but no <laughs> it's actually in this so I'm gonna count this as a loose product because it is in here and this is what I can see that it's got I don't know if you know how to see that but it is the powder is in here I want to put this in for 20 uses because I don't know how long this will actually take to finish and because I've not used it before I just want to see if it's something I want to keep in my collection or not so I'm gonna bring this in for the let's get loose and hopefully hopefully that counts because I'm not continuing on with this I I don't like it <laughs> the next one is lip surface so this is just a project about lipsticks so you can bring in any lip product so for that I have brought in my Revolution lipstick in Chauffeur. I can't remember who it was, I think it might have been Marcia over at Lady Mawa said that this is meant to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilby Pillow Talk. I didn't know that. But this is what it looks like. This is my one of my oldest lip products in my collection and I want to use this one 50 times. So I've used it four. So I have a way to go on it but I still really like this lip product. It doesn't smell bad so it's still okay yep smells perfectly fine and it's just a really 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 nice colour and I think this will look beautiful in autumn and winter so I'm really really looking forward to using it then and hopefully after 50 uses I'll start to see a little bit of a change in this lip product because when I had my YSL one in my 22 in 2022 I used that 50 times and I noticed a huge difference and I really need to get this one worked out my collection and used up so I think this might be a focus to getting it used up next year the next one is Mean Girl Quotes so this is a pomp based project about Mean Girl Quotes so the one I chose was on Wednesdays we wear pink and like I said at some point 
in autumn and winter I will wear my Mean Girls on Wednesdays we wear pink jumper that my sister got me one Christmas and that was just something pink so I brought in this Alia Skin pomegranate facial scrub I've used it twice as a facial scrub and I don't like it as a facial scrub it smells weird it smells like it's gone off but I don't think it has because I only this only came into my collection last year so I think I'm just going to use it as a body scrub and see if that works. I mean, it hasn't caused any irritation and, you know, it, I didn't get any spots after using it or anything. But this is my progress. So this is where I am now. I, again, didn't mark where I started, which is, a bit, which is bad of me as a project planner. But I hope if I'm going to use this as a body scrub I might be able to get through this a little bit faster because I'll use more on my body than I want I would on my face but yeah but didn't like that as a facial scrub it just smells off the next one is nightmare on panning street and this is a prompt based project about horror movies now I don't watch horror movies so there was two on there that I have seen and the one I chose was Jaws and that was a water themed item and for that I brought in the Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore Coconut Water this is getting decluttered as well this smells like fish and I was just like no way I used it once it smelled like fish I was like that is not going on my face ever again so I'm gonna be rolling this out I'm just going to unfortunately empty this down at the sink and maybe reuse the bottle but no not putting that anywhere near my face again <laughs> and so the one I'm going to be bringing in for I'm going to use the same prompt is this hydration serum from touch so it's the touch hydration hydration serum with Himalayan spring water so it hydrates and plumps skin for youthful and femme skin so I thought okay that's great it even has like water on here and it's got spring water in it so I thought that definitely definitely works with the prompt and this is what it looks like I just thought that's such fancy packaging isn't it so it looks like this so I do want to finish this which I don't think will be a problem I'm just I'm working through quite a few serums at the minute so I might not work on that one straight away the next one is pan as old as time so this is a like pan that palette for pan sauces cleared is a while ago and this was to pan one of your oldest, I think it was oldest eyeshadow or face palette. So what I brought in was my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. And what I want to do is finish these two here. And I've used this five times. I think I have expanded this one a little bit and I definitely think I'm getting a dip in this one now. I'm not worrying too much about these because they just don't work my fair skin. But... I used up these powders this year so I really really like to get these finished either this year or next year I have a feeling now it will be next year but I'm working through it I don't even know if you can buy this anymore I've had this for years and um, I didn't get this as soon as it came out I think I got it about two or three Christmases afterwards from my partner um, he got me it for Christmas I'd really really like to get this completely finished and I finished two contours and two powders. I'm glad I brought this in because this was my pan that palette last year and I was still using it afterwards to use with the powders but then I stopped using it um, and I really wanted to get the contours done so because it's now in this project I'm reaching for it again and hopefully should have it done soon. <laughs> the next one is the Golden Girls Project Pan. So this is a prompt based project about the Golden Girls show and that the prompt I chose was cheesecake something in sweet packaging or smells sweet and for that I brought in the Karma Co lip mask in vanilla if you know me you know I absolutely love anything vanilla scented I want to finish this so this is what it's looking like now I've used this 18 times and I can tell you honestly this smells absolutely incredible and the product itself is so nice it's a thick mask but I feel like it's really moisturizing my lips so I am thoroughly thoroughly enjoying this but I this, this could be in for a while because it feels like I've barely 
scratch the surface with 18 uses. The next one is This is Fantasy, and that is a mythological, like, creature themed project. And it's a prompt based project as well. And the prompt I chose was Leprechaun product you think you'll have good luck with and for that I brought in my Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. So I brought this in because I seem to fly through this product so I thought I'd have quite good luck finishing it and this is my progress. So I was here, now I'm here. I can't believe how much I've used. I've used this 18 times so this is at my work desk and throughout the day I just reapply it and I think potentially by November I might have this done because that's my goal to finish it so I'd be really 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 happy to have a lip product out of my collection and finished but this is a nice product I just don't think I would purposely go out and repurchase it I already have another one of these in my collection as well I think I got both of these in a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box but yeah I I, I will use the other one as well but I won't go out and repurchase them um, but they're, they're nice to use. Next project is Tiny Pans. So I think this was the Pan That Palette theme for Fantastic Ladies last year. The palette I brought in was my NARS Orgasm Unwrapped Mini Eyeshadow Palette. My goal is to hit pan in all of the shades. When I was watching other people's intro, they put a usage goal on this. And I was like, why didn't I do that? <laughs> but either way, I'm gonna stick with my goal of trying to hit pan. And I've used it once. So I haven't used it a huge amount. The only one I did use was this one once. So the rest of them are still untouched. But I will use all of these in this palette. So I don't think I'm going to have a problem. And even just that one use on that one has actually showed quite a bit of use. So hopefully it means it's not going to take too long. But the problem is I just have so many other palettes at the moment and eyeshadows and other projects that this just isn't getting as much use but I've at least used it once so I'm, I'm happy with that because I didn't even think I was going to get one use on it so that is it that is my update for my throwback 30 hope you enjoyed this update if you did please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and until my next update thank you for coming by see you later